candy cane one. Okay. okay. Yeah. But I need to put frosting on it. Well, good morning, you guys. It has been a few days since I've picked up the camera. This week has been a little bit rough with my pregnancy pain, but what is new? Um, we just haven't done anything very exciting, so I haven't picked up the camera. But last night was kind of eventful. We got woken up at 2 a.m. by Scout, and I'll let her tell you guys what happened. I was sick. Yeah, and what happened? And I threw down a fine towel. You threw up on a towel? Yeah. And on mommy and daddy's bed? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty bad of me. No, that it, wasn't your fault. It was my fault. It was my fault? Yeah. Why? Because I pulled up on a sheet. <laughs> How do you feel right now, though? Good. Do you feel good now? My thumb doesn't hurt well. It still hurts a little? Yeah. Oh. Well, I hope you feel much better today. So, of course, like, I'm not even joking that I washed our sheets and our comforter and our blanket, everything. I washed all of our bedding the day, I think it was the day before yesterday. And, of course, <laughs> two days after I put clean sheets on, Scout throws up in our bed. It was everywhere, so we were up in the middle of the night, stripping the sheets, cleaning everything up. She's acting fine now, and I hope that it was just a weird 24-hour bug thing. Oh my gosh. Oh! Too much. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look, that's a lot. What are you going to drink? I got to drink all the I got to drink all this one. Okay. I think they'll. I drink I, mine all. All right, we've got a newly made bed, tons of laundry on the bed, a little sicky baby. What are you doing? Do my temperature. It does your temperature, and your temperature was 99.9. .9. Which I think is like, okay, I don't even know if that's considered a fever. So I still haven't done my makeup or anything, but when I was getting ready, when I was curling my hair, Scout actually let me curl her hair for the very first time. She was super brave. She's normally been like so afraid of the curling iron, but she did go to her kitchen and get her little pot holder, um, what do you call them? Gloves, mittens, whatever they are. She was like, I need to wear these when you curl my hair so that you don't burn me. It was so funny. Um, so I curled her little hair and it's so cute. Um, but yeah, we've just been taking it easy and not doing much of anything. She did eat some noodles and the last update that she gave me was that the noodles did not help her tummy and that it still hurt a little bit. Okay, I like her. Oh, thank you. But now you're saying you feel okay? What does it say? It says low temperature. Wow, how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Kara, do you feel sick? <laughs> You're so funny. Camera, what's your temperature? All right, well this is probably boring. I'm gonna fold some laundry and I don't know. I feel like this girl needs to take a nap, but she doesn't seem ready for one. I'm ready for one. I'm not. <laughs> it is like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe closer to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still in my nightgown. I still have not gotten ready for the day, but I need to sit down, fill you guys in on where the heck we've been for over a week. I haven't posted a video in a really long time, and there's a lot that has happened this week. And I, like, honestly had no idea how to catch up without just sitting down and catching you up. So, the first thing that happened after the last clip that you saw is that I woke up with sore throat, felt feverish, I was had a really bad headache, it seemed like it was like a sinus, maybe a sinus infection or a cold, I have no clue. Um, but I was miserable. I couldn't breathe, my nose was just running and running and running. 
My throat was on fire and hurt so bad I could barely swallow. It was just awful. And that lasted probably like two days for me. Between Scout and her little throw up thing, me getting sick with completely different symptoms, which was weird, um, I just didn't film for like three or four days. I don't know how long it was. But then I had to get myself back up and running because Josh's mom and sister hosted a baby shower for us, which was really sweet. It was kind of last minute um, because certain members of my family were just happened to be down south all at the same time. So um, the date got chosen like really quickly, but it was so that my grandma could be here. Uh, my parents were down here. It was a really cute shower. We got to decorate onesies for Indy and that was really fun. Um, the food was so good. It was like a kind of like a morning brunch type shower and we had waffles and eggs and bacon and lots of yummy food. It was just really nice. We got a couple things that we really needed. We needed a new changing table pad. We got a rock and play, which I'm super excited about. It's the auto rock one. So I'm really excited to use that with Indy. Um, so we just had a really fun time at the baby shower and it definitely made it just seem more real that we're having a baby. I don't know, like I've known that, but it just made it seem even more real and like it's getting closer and closer. Right after the baby shower, my parents drove Scout and I to my grandparents' house, which is just like an hour or so away. Josh stayed behind to work and um, I spent a couple days at my grandparents' house because my sister Casey was doing her big final senior art show. She is a senior at Biola University and it was this is a big deal she's like an art major and this is like the thing that she's been working on all year so um that was really exciting a lot of my family was able to attend that so we're just super proud of her we got to go to the art show and see what she's been working on i'm not even going to pretend that i can explain what it all means but it looked really cool <laughs> sorry casey i'm not doing you justice as soon as Scout and I came back from my grandparents' house, Josh had some major news. He finally sold his motorcycle, which was crazy. We've been trying to sell this thing kind of like off and on since we lived in Hawaii. I will insert this clip of Josh. All right, everybody, the day has come. This is my say goodbye to the motorcycle uh, video here. I've been trying to sell this motorcycle since Hawaii, and so been off and on, changed my mind, go back to selling it, changed my mind, go back to selling it. Finally, I was like, I gotta get rid of this, um, and uh, this is it. So it's very bittersweet. I really like this motorcycle. It's really awesome, and uh, I don't know, but I'm glad that it sold, and we gotta move on to other things, but uh, yeah, this is it. Saying goodbye. I think Kaylee and my mom are happy though. And so that was that. It was sold. And it just feels weird. Like every time we open our garage, it's just empty. There's no motorcycle in there. And it's just hard to believe that it happened. It happened so quickly that we're just like, oh wait, yeah, you did sell your motorcycle. Also, it's nice to have a little bit of money in the bank. Not that we plan on touching it at all, but um, I don't know. It just always makes you feel like safer I guess more secure to have like a little cushion in the savings account but we do want to hold on to that money and hopefully get a second car in the near ish near ish future so as soon as I came home I was like in baby mode I was really motivated I wanted to get um, a dresser painted my parents ugh, I'm so thankful they gave us the dresser that's in our bedroom they gave that dresser to us and then um, my brother Connor had another dresser that matched it that he still had. But since he is shipped off to the army and he is gone and out of here, out of my parents' house, they asked us if we wanted the matching dresser. And I was like, heck yes, we need somewhere to put Indy's clothes. And we had nowhere to put any of her stuff. So I was really excited to get that dresser. So I really wanted to paint the drawer fronts black to match our dresser so that they would be the same. And so I got that dresser painted. 
Um, my sister Kellen gave me this really awesome paper succulent wreath kit. She was the one that suggested that I hang it above the changing area and it looks so pretty. I love it. It took forever and a year to make but it was worth it. So those were like my two major projects that I did this week and I don't know what happened but my body just decided that it was going to punish me for feeling motivated. I don't know. Oh, you guys, it has been one of my worst weeks of pain that I have ever, ever had. I am in so much pain that it's kind of unbearable. I could seriously cry at times. I can't stand at my kitchen sink and do dishes without just like feeling like my body is breaking in half. I don't know how to explain it. I am just in so much pain. I can't walk anywhere. I can't walk the mall. I can't walk, you know, just grocery shopping without getting constant Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, literally like they are consistently like every 10 minutes apart. If I am like out walking and moving a lot, I get them and they are consistent, which I don't think is a good thing. I have to lay down if I want them to ease up or stop. Thank goodness they do ease up and stop if I lay down, but that has been super tough. I did talk to my doctor about that this week though, and she just said, she said, you need to lay down. As soon as you feel like you're having consistent contractions like that, you need to lay down. Um, she said if you lay down and they persist for more than an hour, then you need to call labor and delivery and they need to have you come in and check you out, which was kind of scary to hear. I am only um, 33 and a half weeks, so um, obviously Indy needs to cook longer. She said the next two weeks are like vital and then after that they're a little less worried. Um, but I'm hoping I can make it at least past 37 weeks. I have no idea if I will go earlier, if I will go all the way. But um, gosh, I have been in so much pain. It's been really really difficult. Something exciting though that came in the mail yesterday was Scout's Big Sister t-shirt and I'm in love. I decided to get Scout a Big Sister shirt and Indy a matching Little Sister onesie. I really want them to be like matching in their outfits when they meet each other in the hospital. Um, I know that not everything is going to go according to plan probably but my plan is for them to wear their little matching outfits and Scout is going to have a gift for Indy and Indy will have a gift for Scout and I'm hoping that it's just like a really great and exciting and fun and not um, not a hard thing when Scout meets Indy like I want it to be like a happy thing um, I don't want Scout to feel like she's being replaced or you know I don't know I've probably thought way too much about this but in my mind it's gonna be a cute moment. <laughs> so today I just decided to stay in my nightgown. Last night was really really rough. I got in bed at probably like 8 30 and I was almost crying. I just didn't even know what to do. I was in so much pain but today I'm just deciding to really take it easy. I've been doing some laundry which you can probably hear in the background but other than that I have not done much today. Scout has been watching a lot of Netflix, which I kind of feel guilty about, but I'm just like, whatever. I'm in the final weeks of pregnancy. I'm not going to feel too guilty about it. I'm going to end this thing because it's probably long. Thank you for watching. Please keep me in your prayers because, you guys, it's been really hard physically and emotionally to be in this much pain. Like, ugh. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. We have some exciting stuff coming up. I can't wait for Indy to be here. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Show what daddy brought. He saved the day, you guys. Good job. Follow that guy. Hello.